There are a ton of services out there that can back up your files online, but that usually comes at a cost or for free, but with limited space. And uploading all that data over the internet can sometimes take days, if not weeks, depending on how much you have. But you can get the same services and more at home or work with D-Link's network attached storage device, the ShareCenter 2-Bay Cloud Storage 2000. You can add as much hard drive space as you want, configured however you want. A zero configuration setup for my D-Link Cloud services to be able to stream, share, upload, and download all your media online or to a mobile device with dedicated apps for both iOS and Android. It's a whole lot easier to do yourself than you might think. Let me show you. But first, let's see what comes in the box. For starters, you have the hard drive mounting kit, an ethernet cable, the power adapter, as well as a CD install and a quick start guide. In the box, you also have the DNS320L, And on the front of the device, you have the power buttons and USB buttons, as well as the left and right hard drive LED indicators. On the back of the NAS, the power connector, Ethernet cable, and a USB share port for attaching a printer or additional hard drives. And on the top, a push button latch to remove the top panel for easy drive bay access. You can install one or two hard drives. Just line up the SATA connectors and slide in the hard drives. When you're finished, replace the top panel. Now grab the power and ethernet cables, as well as the DNS320L, and head over to your router. Start by connecting the ethernet cable to the back of the NAS and to the LAN port on the router. Then connect the power and push the power button on the front of the device. Included is the install CD, but you can also download the latest version from mydlink.com forward slash support. Just select the DNS320L and download the installation wizard for the Mac or PC. And once it's downloaded, Run the install wizard and follow the prompts until you get to select the device screen. As long as you're connected to the same network as the NAS, your device will be listed. Select it and click yes. Leave the password field blank for the default password, and then you'll be prompted to create a new password of at least five to 16 characters long. Now, unless you have special needs, the default device settings will work just fine. We'll skip the DDNS account settings for now. Set your time zone. And if you want, you can configure email settings to receive alerts. Otherwise, select Skip, and now it's time to configure the hard drives we installed earlier. Select the RAID method that best fits your needs, but the RAID 1 configuration is recommended and provides the best redundancy and safety for your files. Also, you can map the NAS to correspond to a specific drive letter on your PC for easy access. And once finished, click Next to complete the setup and configure the hard drives on the DNS320L. Now, depending on the size of your drives, formatting the drives can take a couple minutes, so we'll skip ahead. But once it's finished, you'll be prompted to link the DNS320L to your MyDLink account for remote file and management access from your computer, iPhone, or Android device using the MyDLink app. If you don't have a MyDLink account, you can quickly create a free MyDLink account. Or if you have a MyDLink enabled network camera or router, you can use the same MyDLink account with your email address and password. And that's it. You can now log in to MyDLink.com or from your MyDLink app on your iPhone or Android, you can access the DNS320L to remotely manage, upload, or download files. So if you don't feel comfortable having all your files hosted just somewhere, or maybe you have too much data to store all online, the ShareCenter 2 Base Storage 2000 just might be the perfect solution for your home or office. Thanks for watching.